Hey guys, so I am back with my current obsession. I was looking through the website. I was like, you know what? I think I want like a couple of bandeaus to wrap around the handle. So in case I have an outfit that I'm not gonna wanna wear so much color. Not that it's really hard for me to match this with a lot because it really does, it's so beautiful. This bag on its own, it, it says a lot. Anyways. These two bandos, I'll show you. I'll take them out. I'll put them on her. And we're going to see what she looks like. They're on the website. But instead of just ordering, I always just reach out to my essay. And I just show her my appreciation. In general, when you work in a store, they want you to branch out and upsell and all of that. That's her job. So any little item, whether it's one or two, she's so appreciative. She's like, oh. She's so lovely, she's amazing. And even on her day off, if she's talked to me about a certain item, I'll go in and if she's not there, if I really want it really bad, I'll talk to a manager and just kind of ask for them to ring it up for her and they're so grateful for that and they have no problems doing it. I'm so in love with this bandeau, how the white picks up and it's just a pop of color, but I wanted to give her a different look. I love to wear classic bags, but I like to make them my own. I really love limited edition and a bag that is recognizable but when you look at it you're like wait a minute that's different I've not seen that or something unique about it so that's why I am a sucker for seasonal bags in limited edition and that's so when I'm done showing you what she looks like on here and we're going to look at it together, I think it's going to go perfect. I'm just going to show you how you can do it on a regular monogram. Oh, yeah. Here is my... So you know what? Let's take this off first. Let's do it that way. We're going to take this off because when I take the bandos out, we're going to put it on the bag immediately and we're going to see if it goes. But I really think it will. I think it's just perfect. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to be like, you went from this colorful rainbow scarf to that? <laughs> I think it's a different look, but I think you guys will like it. It's it's different. Guys, she's enough. She doesn't need much. But just to make it a little bit more special. And these are both the same. Okay. Ah. Oh my gosh, it feels, it, it feels empty. <laughs> it's here. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Look, 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 look. Very simple, like a nothing bandeau, but look at this. It's going to give it a whole different look. Oh, let me get my scissors. I take this off. I don't ever keep it on. So I never, ever made in Italy. I never keep these on. Um, they drive me crazy. Can you imagine? Oh, no. I will keep them, and I will just keep it in the box in case... You know, I ever want to sell it? You just never know. If I ever do, I'll I'll get it stitched on. I'll stitch it myself. Who knows? No, I'm not gonna stitch it myself. But or I'll just sell it like this. And there we go. See? Okay, perfect. So that's Uno, and we're gonna unbox the other one, and then I'll do the same to this one. My shears are like blades. They're very sharp. Very very Japanese. Oh my gosh. I know this freaks everybody out. <laughs> okay, I'm put, so then that's that, and we're gonna get this out of the way. And then we're gonna wrap it, and we're gonna see how it looks. And then you'll tell me, cause I don't know what it's gonna look like. So we're just gonna play. Oh my gosh. When I unbox this, did I show it like this? It's supposed to be like this. I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> but no, I want that pop of white. And, um, I wore it the other day. Um, I wore it twice. Can I just, oh look, see, that's so much prettier. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Okay, now we're gonna take it around again. I'm not doing this to protect the handle because it's so treated. This is totally reminding me of the Demir Bean. It's like practically super indestructible and you'll buy it and like 20 years later, it looks the same. Oh, okay. We're gonna, it's turning beige, so. Okay, so the top. So right around the middle, you wanna flip it if you wanna keep it all white or if you want half of it beige, that's up to you. But I like to keep it, um, I wanna be consistent with the white. And it's okay if I have a little bit of a bump on top. That's kinda cute. 
So anyways, it reminds me of the dark brown. It just always looks new. It always, no matter how many years go by, it always looks so, amazing. That's the same experience I had with my white Fendi bag. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay. And if not, I'm just gonna wipe it. So let's see, one more. Should I bring it one more? No, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it on down. How are we looking? Oh, that's so, so pretty. See, she's, I just made her look elegant and not super flashy. You know what I just realized? This is the back. So we're gonna do the other side with the knot because that is no knot and it looks fine. But what if we do it with Let's a knot? See how we do here. Okay. So I'm thinking we just do like a regular knot, right? And then we wanna keep it like maybe, I don't know, the same length as the other side. That was pretty. We're not gonna worry how the knot is because we can probably adjust it. So maybe like going under because it has to come back up, right? So let's see. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so that got a little shorter. We wanna keep it a little longer. So I guess you could just play with it. <laughs> play with it. Winnie! <laughs> you guys watch Winnie B. Lord! She's a bad influence on me. If you don't watch her, watch her, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me just wrap around that. And we're gonna just cover the entire hardware. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I love that lock. Look how pretty that looks. That's pretty. Yeah. I kind of want the chaps to show. Like I said, I'm not protecting it. This is just for looks. I mean, it's protecting it a little bit from dirt. Okay, it's starting to go on beige again. So we are going to do a little flippity flip. And then you see how it turned beige over here on the other side. So I know that I'm running out. So I'm not going to do them really. I'm going to spread out the fold, see? So I'm wanting to get to the other side as quickly as possible and have as much slack as possible because we can always, like, keep wrapping it when we get there. But if we run out and it's too short, then I have to do it again and then edit and da-da-da. <laughs> okay, so let's say we're going to do one more knot. And then, okay, we have to put it through. We have to tie this because if not... It's not going to be a knot. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is this going to work, guys? Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Please work. I'm filming. Don't make me look bad. Okay. <gasps> it worked! <sighs> that. You know what? I think I let... Wait. Do we like the knot or the knot knot? Let's take these straps off. And then I'm thinking with it knotted, it's going to stay longer. But who knows if I want to change them out and if I want to deal with the knots. So let's see. Mm. Hmm. Which one do we like? I don't know. I kind of like the knotted one because it just looks more put together. This one looks like maybe possibly could come loose and it just looks undone. I don't know. I like the knotted one. I so. think this is giving her a classy, elegant, neutral, I mean as neutral as you can get. I know she's monogram. I know she's not for everybody. I know monogram is just kind of out there and everybody can see it's a Louis. It's not understated. You have to kind of watch where you wear it for various reasons. But to me, I give Louis Vuitton monogram a pass <laughs> because this is what everybody knows Louis by. Granted, in all the history books, it was the Demi Being. That was the original print for Louis Vuitton. And then they did the logo, the monogram, but I wouldn't compare her to something that's logo-y because it's logo-y to show the logo. Now, did they do that back in the day? Did they floss like that? Did they show out? It could have been a branding thing. I mean, it's just so brilliant. Guys, monogram is one of a kind. It's on its own. It's what I love. It's what gets to me. It's That's why they sell monogram more. Um, it's just it, it's Louis Vuitton and um, it's the heritage, it's everything. And I am just over the moon with her. But let's see if you could do it on regular monogram. And this is the treated Vachetta. But just, so just if you wanted your bag to look a little bit more special, more unique, or if you wanted to protect the handles, honestly, 
Your bag is gonna patina regardless, but if you cover it with the twillies, with, um, excuse me, with the bandeau, I'm gonna call it everything, twilly, bandeau, scarf, who knows. So if you cover it with this, just keep in mind that the rest of it is gonna keep getting darker. None of this, because like I said, this is, this is treated, this is pre-treated. This is just gonna get a little bit darker, but not much. Um, so if you, I wouldn't recommend you covering and just leaving it on maybe for like a certain outfit or something but i would just take it off right away but what if you did it on a regular uh monogram any monogram that you have so we're just this is what we're gonna do because we know that's gonna take us a long time to get through that bag what if we do this what if we do it like this why don't we just for shits and giggles what if we just do it like this and we'll just make pretend that we did it twice right what if we just um what if we just do this i mean obviously i'm just I'm not doing it right, but just to give you an idea what it'll look like on a monogram. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm just doing. So, okay. Let's just make pretend we did something, but we didn't. Actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> Let's see. What is this going to look like? See, when you do it, the coin, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's actually cute. Look at this. I didn't even mean to do that. So I just doubled it and that's what I did. So you could buy one, but look how cute this is. Just a neutral twilly. I love it. Super, super cute. Maybe I should wear her like this for a little bit. I really like this. What do you guys think? Is it too boring? Is it too, I don't know, blah. I'm digging it. I love it's it. Expensive. It looks beautiful. And um, yeah, this is it. Here's some eye candy. Eye candy for me, for sure, because I love her. I love them both a little bit more this way. Look pretty for the camera. I tell them all the time to make sure you don't drop your handles. You don't drop. Look beautiful. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Just to let you know, I picked up my Neverfull in the Tahitian. Um, there's a little issue with it. Not huge, but I'm going to fill you guys in. I spoke to client services. I'm going to hear back from them, but I don't want to get into it right now. Uh, we didn't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, I, that's that's why I went to the mall twice. Uh, Friday and then Saturday I picked up. They called me to pick her up that she was ready. I had my Vicetta replaced on my Neverfull Azure, which I love so much. My only Neverfull, the Tahitian, you know, that, that beautiful. I'll, I'll put it up so you can see. So anyways have a beautiful monday this is monday have a beautiful rest of the week too because i'll probably upload it on tuesday <laughs> i love you guys and thank you thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel and i guess i'm still doing youtube i really enjoyed i love talking to you guys and meeting you guys and and connecting like if you like it and want to subscribe like, ring the bell thingamajigger because I don't have a set schedule as to when I upload my videos and I just do it when I have something to say or that I have to talk about. This is just for fun. It's just a hobby for me. So I'd love to meet you and say hi in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.